In this biodemographic short, I consider the chances of false positives in cancer diagnoses. A woman is told that her mammogram results were positive for breast cancer. Given that 1% of women develop breast cancer any given year, out of 10,000 women, there will be 100 with cancer and 9,900 without cancer. Given also that 80% of these cancers are found through mammograms, but 9.6% of the 10,000 screenings are false alarms, what is the likelihood the woman actually has breast cancer? At issue is the reliability of the test, given the information above. Using the number out of 10,000 as the probabilities, that is to avoid using decimals, we provide a two by two table of true and false, positive and negative outcomes. The probability that this woman has breast cancer, given that her test was positive, denoted probability A given X, is computed using this equation given here, and when the numbers are plugged in, yields 0.0776. The woman's probability of actually having breast cancer, given that her mammogram results were positive, is only around 8%. The formal theory underlying this result is Bayesian theory, based on the model given here, where probability A given X is what we want to know, which is what is the chance of having cancer A, given that the test is positive X. In other words, how likely is she to have cancer with a positive test result? Probability X given A is the true positive, in other words, the chance that the test is positive X, given that she has cancer A. Probability A is a cancer rate, which is in this example, there is a 1% chance of having cancer. Probability of not A is the non-cancer rate, and in this example, the chance of not having cancer is 99%. Probability X not A is the false positive. In other words, the chance of a positive test, given that the person does not have cancer, that is 9.6%. A simplified version of Bayes' theorem is given here. Bijak and Bryant, 2016, note that Bayesian theory is demo in demography is especially suited for both sparse data and data that is unreliable or incomplete. They provide a detailed overview of the applications of Bayesian theory in demographic forecasts, limited data, and complex models.